Look, the issue of tr transgenderism, I'm not even sure what the right semantics and vocabulary are now, whether someone is, it's not a cross-dresser or transdresser, it's someone who believes they are, they are in the body of, of another gender. Um, it's pointless to be crass or to make jokes about this. The people, many of them, are going through absolute agony. I don't understand it. I don't pretend to understand it. But we have to listen to everyone involved in, in the debate, in, in the equation. And there are some understandable nerves, nervousness, fear about all of this. And now we have a case where someone who quite clearly did not feel he was trapped in uh, the body of, an, of, of another gender exploited the situation to commit crimes. Marissa Simkew uh, joins us now to discuss this issue. This fellow, Christopher Hambrook, I mean, there's no suggestion that he was transgendered. He just wanted to try and disguise himself as a woman in a woman's shelter to effectively rape vulnerable women. Yeah, he sexually assaulted four women, one of them a five-year-old girl, Michael, uh, and uh, was by no means transgender, just dressed up as a woman yeah. in order to manipulate people and, and get into women's shelters, women's bathrooms, and take advantage of the situation. It's absolutely disgusting, yeah. and rightfully so, he was declared a dangerous offender, as he should have been. Yeah. Now, he has a history of this he, um, beyond women's shelters. He has raped women, uh, often the most vulnerable women who have uh, a mental handicap, who yeah. have uh, there was a, yeah. a deaf woman. I mean, it, the most vulnerable women he's gone after. So does it really have anything to do with the whole transgendered issue? He will use wow. anything and everything to take advantage of women. In this case, he's using, he went to the shelter, said he was transgendered, I assume they couldn't turn him away. Well, exactly. So we have certain codified protections uh, for transgendered people in and. Canadian law and Ontario law, specifically Toby's law, and that allows people that are transgender to enter into women's shelters, women's mm. washrooms, and it just basically protects them. And I'm not saying that the people that created this law had any dangerous motive in mind. No, I'm sure that their intentions were absolutely pure, but there is no naive, doubt. Perhaps? There is no doubt that it opens the door for mm. abuse. Well, that, that's, uh, I don't know if we've showed it yet, but the comment from Barbara Hall. Which uh, is outrageous. Can we see that, please, uh, if we haven't shown it already? Now, I know Barbara, and, and she's, she's, she's well-meaning, but just, just leave that up there for a while. We have never seen a documented case of a heterosexual man getting access to a woman's change room by posing as transgender. Well, Barbara, this has occurred. Uh, for more than 15 years, transgender people in, uh, in Ontario had the legal right to use a washroom or change room according to their, their, their lived gender identity. Mm -hmm. it, it's quite right to say this is incredibly unusual. Most transgendered people are victims rather than perpetrators. So mm -hmm. that, that's, we must be sensational here, but we have to be honest too. This has happened. It's not the first time. Why would it be the last time, for goodness sake? Well, exactly. He took advantage of the law in order to sexually assault women. So let's uh, put the, um, you know, uh, Political correctness aside, mm -hmm. let's consider about let's consider the victims in this situation. I potentially could have been one of those victims. All women are victims yeah. in this situation, and let's consider about let's consider what could absolutely result as a result of. Well, this we had law. a case recently, and Barbara commented on this too. And I'm not here to, to attack Barbara, but it was when a, a man, I think, he probably was it seemed to be that he was transgendered, but yeah. he still had male genitalia, and he came on to at least one woman. Now. This is a, a real situation, so this is not unique. We had another uh, case in BC with a rape crisis centre where the most vulnerable broken women go for help, and someone who was going through the, the process of being uh, the surgery and so on, again, I forgive me, I don't understand the semantics completely, but hadn't completed it yet, and wanted to work on the front desk. And the people there said, but you can't because it would be traumatic for these women. You know what, I, uh, my concern isn't just about the abuse, and I have no doubt that we'll see this again, people abusing this law, but it's also a situation in which we are uh, allowing transgendered people females with male genitalia are allowed to go into women's washrooms where they will see women in their most vulnerable situations and unfortunately yeah. why does their right trump mine i don't want to be changing in front of someone who may have male genitalia i just don't i've only had one experience of this and it was a pub uh near the university of toronto and it was a few years ago and one of our daughters was going to the washroom and there was a a fellow that I have no idea what was going on surgically or psychologically, but it was obviously a man dressed as a woman. It seemed perfectly pleasant, but I felt uncomfortable as a parent allowing my daughter to go to that washroom until he had, or she, I'm sorry, had, had left. But where, where do they go then? If they have to have a pee, if they have to go to the, to the washroom, where do they go? I'm not pretending I know the answer to this, yeah. to this question. I don't know the solution. Maybe creating separate washrooms for them. I, quite frankly, I don't know. But what mm. I do know is that I don't see why their rights should trump mm. mine. You know what? I, I think it's a good point on which to end. We don't have 
the answers, but we are allowed to ask the questions. And what I resent terribly is when to ask a question, we're accused of being bigoted. Exactly. That is not the case. Exactly. You're accused of being bigoted, uh, among other things. And quite frankly, there's room for debate here, mm. as evidenced by yeah. this most recent case with Christopher Hambrook. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. You're welcome.